Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw this solar eclipse. Open a new document, swap the fill and the stroke and change the stroke to none. First we'll create a background. Press the letter M for the rectangle tool or select it from the toolbar panel and draw a rectangle across the whole artboard. Let's select the layer with the background and create a new layer. Next we'll draw two circles. Press the letter L for the ellipse tool or select it from the toolbar panel, click in the center, hold and drag. While you are dragging your mouse, press and hold down the Shift and Alt keys. This will place a perfect circle in the middle of your artboard. Next we'll duplicate it. Press the Ctrl and C buttons on your keyboard to copy it and Ctrl B to paste it in back. When you go to Layers panel and open the sub-layers, you can see our copied circle. Select the circle on the bottom and let's change its color to white. Now switch to the selection tool, click on this corner, hold and drag to scale it up. Next we'll add a gradient to it. If your gradient window is not open, go to Window and select Gradient. Choose white and black, change the type to radial, select the black color stop and change it to white. Now select the white color stop on the right, change its opacity to zero, select the other color stop and move it over here. You can always adjust it later. Next we'll create this polygon. Go to the ellipse tool and select the Polygon tool. Click in the center, hold and drag. While still holding your mouse button, press the up arrow key 16 times to add more sides. Now drag it out a bit more to extend it beyond the existing circles. Let's rename this new layer. Double click on the path and type Polygon. Now click on it to select it, hold and drag under the white circle layer. Let's adjust the gradient. Click below the slider to add one more color stop and change it to black. Then move it over here. Select the second color stop and move it to the left. You can always adjust it later. Let's change the opacity of this color stop to 70%. In the next few steps we will change the edges to be more rugged. Go to Effect, Distort and Transform and choose Roughen. Check the preview box so you can better see what we are doing and let's make some changes. Experiment with the sliders to see what you like. We can always come back to this window to make final adjustments. Next we'll add one more effect. Go to Effect again, select Stylize and choose Feather. Set the radius to about 28 pixels. Let's go back to the layer with the white circle and adjust the gradient. Zoom in on this part and with the circle still selected, press the letter G to show the gradient annotator. Now adjust it a bit more. Next select the polygon and adjust the gradient if needed. Of course you can go back and adjust the effects as well. To do that open the appearance panel and select the effect that you want to adjust. In the next few steps we'll make this diamond effect. First create a new layer and draw a circle. Let's adjust the gradient. Click on the black color stop and drag it down to delete it. Next select the white color stop, move it all the way to the left and change its opacity to 100%. Let's duplicate this color stop, place it over here and make a few more adjustments. Next select the circle, distort it a bit, 
scale it up, rotate it and place it on top of the big circle. And of course you can adjust the gradient like we did before. Finally, if you would like, you can add some clouds to the foreground. I included a link to it in the description below. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.